you were up very early, you saw the rain. If not, and if you waited a little while, you even saw some sunshine. There was not a whole lot of rain to see, however. Sullivan picking up the most with 16 hundredths of an inch. Menominee Falls not even up to a tenth of an inch. Similar story at the airport in Milwaukee. Fond du Lac, 3 hundredths of an inch. Sheboygan picking up one one hundredth of an inch. Not going to be the story as we go into your Monday. Here's a look at the future rainfall. By the time we get to about 11 o'clock on Monday night, West Bend, Milwaukee, close to about an inch, about a third of an inch in Racine. But I think later in the evening, Racine's going to start to see those rain chances ramp up overnight on Monday. But right now, it is just warm and muggy. Lots of cloud cover out there despite earlier sunshine. 71 in Milwaukee, 78 in Kenosha, as well as in Burlington, 72 in Port Washington. The winds relatively light from the the southeast, but that does continue to bring up that warm kind of muggy air. Dew points are in the muggy range anywhere from 65 in Milwaukee to the 70s out in Watertown and Whitewater, so it certainly feels on the sticky side. Muggy meter is going to continue to stay on the sticky side as we go throughout your Sunday, Monday. It will start to drop off though as we go throughout your Tuesday and into Wednesday. That's when we'll really start to feel the fresh, comfortable air finally start to arrive after we get rid of some of this muggy air we've got on top of us. Satellite and radar are showing a pretty thick cloud cover across southeastern Wisconsin, zooming way out again, showing you that area of low pressure that's going to bring us the rain tomorrow, but it's going to take some time to get here. And this one changing directions a little bit. This low pressure system is basically going to coast close to the state line, and that means the heavier rain threat pushes more into Illinois. So yesterday we were seeing it one to two inches. This is looking a little bit less than that. Future forecast though, timing it out, isolated shower possible uh, this evening before about eight o'clock. And then as we head into the day, Tomorrow, cloudy start to the day. It will be a dry start to the day. Here comes that low pressure system after two o'clock. Scattered showers riding over this warm front, so it's not going to be a warm day. It still will be muggy. And notice those heavier downpours shifted a little further down to the south for Monday evening. Still going to get some scattered rain showers. Not going to be looking at any severe weather here, thankfully. And as we get into your Tuesday, could see a couple scattered showers as well. How much rain are we talking for us? Generally, about an inch or less north of Milwaukee could see higher amounts closer to the state line. Your seven day forecast though shows the temperatures are going to drastically be dropping after we get through this. We're going to be looking at 78 on Monday. It's going to feel warm and sticky. Isolated shower chance on Tuesday down to 74 with a spotty shower on Wednesday. Cooler, more comfortable air as we get into your Thursday with sunshine and 75 degrees. 80s return though, and it's going to be warmer than average as we go into next weekend with temperatures in the mid 80s. So we're not quite done with the summer sticky feel quite yet. But again, tomorrow after about two o'clock, that's when we'll watch those rain chances start to ramp up. If you're south of Milwaukee, that's where the heaviest rain is going to be. A little different than our forecast yesterday because that shift a little further to the south. All right. Well, we had a good stretch, so yes. we're overdue. <laughs> Thanks, Jessica.